Working today on aluminum extrusion. There's an extrusion. What we need to do is put a hole, a tapped hole, down through the center of this thing so that we can screw a foot down in there. When we get it set up, this is going to end up being a leg. I've set up the vise now so that it uh, will hold this perpendicular. I'm going to set the height. I, uh, everything I set up is just even with that edge of the vise. Tighten the vise. And to validate center, I'm going to use this chamfer tool and just stick it down in there. looks pretty even. Maybe just a fraction off center, but that's okay. You can handle a fraction. When I say a fraction, I mean very small amount. But that'll do us. So the first thing we want to do is grease this thing up. I use just a uh, cutting tapping oil, like Tap Magic or whatever. I'll put lots of grease on this because I want it to go deep. I'm measuring depth with the uh, spindle on the drill here. And there's our tap hole. Next step is the tap itself. And put the tap in. I do this for a couple of reasons. One, because it makes sure that my alignment is right, that everything's perpendicular to start. Sometimes if I'm worried about it delicate, I'll just kind of set it in here and then twist it in by hand. Um, but other times like this where I've got to go a little deeper and I'm very convinced that it's uh, set correctly, it's aluminum, not steel, I'll just take it and turn it on and run it down in there. But before we do that, we definitely need to put lots of cutting oil on this. And we'll put cutting oil on the whole thing all the way up and down. And we'll make sure that it's dripping down inside. And we'll cake the walls with it. And we'll make sure that there's lots of fluid. You only get one chance at this, so here we go. Sometimes it's just a little bit too tight. Finish it off, breaking some chips, putting it in. I happen to know that it needs to go a couple of threads beyond where the tap is so that I can put the full shaft of the foot in. And actually, because of the wall thickness, we're making these walls pretty thin. Um, if you have a longer shaft, a longer screw shaft down into the aluminum, then it gives it greater strength because you're not pressuring and putting so much force, like if you drag the table or something afterwards, it doesn't put so much force on it because it's spread out over a much longer distance. The uh, It doesn't have the leverage, if you will, to break the wall. I really tried to find feet with a smaller diameter, but couldn't find sufficient feet. Spraying air up from the bottom does not yield a release, 
of the last little bit of debris. The chips, which is okay, we'll address that in a minute. But last thing we want to do is put a little bit of a lead in camper on this hole. Like so. And now we are ready to be done. So when I look down the hole, I can't see I can't see any light down in there. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this little rod and drop it down in there. Put my hand on the other end, shake it up and down until the rod finally comes out with a handful of chips. There we go, chips and a rod. Clean everything up. The hole is now clear, looks great, we're done.